We've got lots and lots of elephants, but I need to just watch them. So, Megan, I do apologize. I may actually have to do some maneuvering as some of the cows in this herd seem to be slightly stressed, and I don't know what's got them so worried. Hey, big girls, there's some big, very, very, very big elephant cows here. Can I actually just point out the one that I think is this biggest? Is this old bird back here? She's just, I don't know if you can see her. No, you won't see her now. Hello, guys, where are you off to? What's wrong? What have you heard? Walking right past the car, in front, behind. Hello, big girl. There's the old car I was telling you about. I suspect that this is the matriarch over here. Hello, girl. Hello. It's okay. Just having a smell? Yeah. Let's relax, relax, relax. Something has got them slightly worried. There they go. Past us. Here's a young bull showing us a slight agitation, but I'm really not worried about him. He could be one of the reasons, in fact, why this herd is a bit on the annoyed side. Um, he's not particularly young. He hasn't got the biggest ivory, but he's very tall. He's got long legs like a runway model. And maybe what he's been doing is he's been going about checking all the females, maybe pushing and shoving some of the youngsters around. Because you can see they've all moved away from him completely and they, they keep dodging his, his direction. But the cows will not stand for that, especially that matriarch at the back there. She is huge. She is the size. She's actually even bigger than that bull. No, uh, no, no. This one here. That one. That's a big one. That's a big car there. There's two really big ones, but I think that that girl, there she goes. She's just walking. You can see how she's still smelling all the vehicles around them. It's not really stopping to feed at the moment. They've obviously been given the command, go, go, go. Oh, that's so beautiful. Look at that, Seb. It's hard because they're on the move, so we're going to have to keep moving too. Isn't that a lovely scene? So, yes, I'm exceptionally happy. After this morning's very quiet drive within the first hour of the show I've managed to find all the animals that I wanted to find. Should we go around Seb? Okay. We're gonna try um, I think our signal should be alright because we're up top here we're not going down towards the dam so we can give it a bash and hopefully the gremlins don't get us. They look like they're starting to settle down now just a little bit. You know most of the time the elephants are so relaxed and so calm it's alright to have a day like today you know where you're slightly agitated it's not a problem. We all have our bad days. This morning I was horribly grumpy because the hyena kept me awake. And then I had a nap this afternoon like a little kid. And now I feel better. <laughs> that was very funny this morning. Those leopards were very, very rude to us. I'm not looking for leopards today. So I'm just trying to think what our best spot's going to be. Might have to go around the game. <laughs> Now, Jacqueline, you said you can't imagine how cool it would be to be in a vehicle with me and, and being surrounded by all these elephants. Well, maybe not being with me, but being with the elephants is amazing. It's so cool. They're kicking up the dust. Look at that. That's so nice. So normally one of the ways that we spot the big buffalo herds when they've moved into the area is mostly we just follow the dust clouds. Uh, and it seems today we can do the same thing with the elephants. Now, I don't know if this is maybe the same herd of elephants, or one family, sorry, or if it's perhaps two or three different families that have joined up together. Because that's not uncommon to see in these drier seasons. Often the animals come together and they'll move through and sort of graze and browse a particular area until there's not much left and then they move on again and, and look for something else. Sure, just as they do in, in Kenya with the big migrations. We normally only see this in the winter months in this area. Now they're going again. They're going straight back towards Gowry, Maine. And we might actually have to go all the way around, can you believe it, and go and wait for them there. Because they're really moving through at quite a pace. But this isn't the most relaxed herd. You know, I love it when they come around the vehicle and they're spending time feeding. <coughs> Excuse me. Then it's really quite nice. And you can't always get what you want. And like I said, if an elephant herd is having a bad day, that's fine. That doesn't happen very often. She's got long tusks, that girl, though. Sort of very needle-like tusks that would be very good for digging. And her young st just standing by, so not stopping for a swim. Literally going down, having a couple of trunkfuls of water. And then that's it. It hasn't been very hot, so, you know, they, they don't need to drink as much water. 
on the on the days that they it's it's not very hot they will be getting some of the moisture from the vegetation that they're feeding on oh, I wonder where they're going to go next maybe we'll we'll find another herd that's slightly more relaxed though but you see how they're getting left behind now one thing that is very very dangerous are these satellite parties the ones that you know stop to sort of feed the rest of the herd is now moved on completely and you'll come across something like this where you think that it is just mom and calf and there are no other elephants around and you get in between them and the main herd you can find yourself in a lot of trouble so try and avoid that especially if you're on foot in a car slightly different they're not too worried about us about us in the vehicles but on foot you'll get you will get a big fright but we'll see if we can relocate on this herd we'll go towards gary main i'm going to send you across to brent now who seems to be sitting at a river